Hey everybody, Taki Hicks. I'm here in the flesh, happier than ever. I did miss my post uh, last night, Super Bowl Sunday, but you know, a bigger event than just the Seahawks whooping the crap out of the Broncos. I had a more memorable event take place uh, last night. For me, personally, it was, you know, I had a near-death experience, uh, put it lightly, uh, or put it however it is, put it real, like I'm putting it from now on, for real. You know, and when you have those type of experiences, Experiences, you tend to, uh, when your life flashes before you, you see so much of it that you didn't live and so much of it that was supposed to have been there in your life or, or that you should have been doing and connecting with those people in your life that I didn't do. And I mean, I, I can't give you the full detail of the thing and I don't want to give you the details of the experience because I'm not ready to relive the experience again in my life. But I did want to share from my journal from last night, what I wrote uh, pretty much sums up the, the change that it had and the impact that it had in my life. Uh, I wrote, I feel, uh, well, first of all, it's my struggling online badass or SOB is uh, my new motto, I guess you could say, my, my new mantra, whatever. I put, I feel resurrected as I have had as near a death experience as I choose or wish to have right now. And it has given me a new reason to live, to thrive, and to grow so that in my own way, I can help others do the same that are having this, the same struggles that I'm having and do it in a way that only I can do it with all I have inside me to amplify the vibration of love for all. And I made a promise that night. You know, we're always making promises when we think we're gonna die. So uh, naturally I made a promise, Lord, uh, God, the creator, energy, mother of earth, mother of all, the creator, whoever you call when you're in distress. That's who I went to in my heart. And I made the promise that if I was allowed to live, through this experience that I would live a life committed to this kind of love and to the process and pursuit of happiness and greatness and servitude to my fellow man. I mean, that's what I, I, I really came to, to grips with why I'm here. Why am I actually here anyways? Why have I been given life anyways? What am I supposed to do with this life? And, you know, I feel that it has to be, my life is being lived in order to help somebody else that's gonna go through the same stuff that, that I go through. And so I look at my struggles a lot differently now and you'll see my posts a lot different and a lot more authentic and real because, of, and I went on giving up my true self, all of my heart, all of my mind, all of my body and soul to improve my environment and the environment of those around me by every means possible and impossible based upon the ever opening of my mind to believing that the seemingly impossible is possible through the energy and power of real love. And I understand that persistent committed action must accompany, must accompany, I'm sorry, this belief for it to truly manifest. My, my handwriting is horrible, of course. I, like I said, I wrote this while I was going through last night. And, and then on the end, I said, you know, or else uh, let me die in this condition, which I don't want to go uh, in details of that condition, but it wasn't how I wanted to go out. It wasn't how I wanted to die. It wasn't how I wanted my story to end. So now I'm putting my story, my true story here for those people that it may help. And I'm hoping that it, it helps and reaches somebody. And if anything, you have the real me, the whole raw, uncut Taki. So thanks for listening. Stay posted. Workwithtaki.com. Peace.